Hello everyone. So, I know you probably love useful content as much as I do, but, well, let's just say lately my YouTube videos haven't been really that useful. So today I'm going to make up for it with a video about dot .files. So what are dot .files? In case you don't know, it's those configuration files in your home directly that have a dot in front of them, and that's kind of why they call dot .files. And they configure your programs, your application on per user basis, which means, you know, if you have another user in your computer, he's not gonna have the same configuration. So that's all technicalities, obviously. What is the real use case for dot .files? Let's say you have a VPS and you want to copy your configuration file to have all the same settings in Vim, all the same shell aliases, etc. And you can do that by just copying dot .files from your home directory to the home directory on your VPS. I mean, that's just basics and I'm pretty sure most of you know that by now, but just in case somebody doesn't, there you go. So now, how to manage your dot .files. About a year ago, the way I would do it is I would go into my home directory and I would manually choose all the dot .files that I need to copy and then I would just copy them by, you know, pressing Ctrl C, Ctrl V. But that's like so 2006, so obviously there must be a more effective way, right? Well, as a matter of fact, there is. I present you GNU STO. GNU STO is an utility that was used to manage Perl executables. I'm not sure about all the details, it's something along the lines of Perl executables would install themselves in all kinds of weird folders and people who wrote this program wanted to keep it all nice and neat in one folder, but that's obviously not what we're gonna use it for. We're gonna use it to manage our dot .files, and right now I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. So we're inside of my computer now. This is Void Linux, kind of a fresh installation. I've just created a new user to show you how GNU STO works. And first thing we need to do is we need to install some packages, sudo ps install sto git. That's all we're gonna need. Next, we need to copy the repository with dot .files. As you can see, there is a folder called dot .files and it has a bunch of other folders and every folder represents a program, a program configuration file, if you will. And the way it works is basically every folder has configuration files and they're placed in the same way as though they were placed in the home directory. And it's kind of hard to explain, but I'm gonna show you. As you can see, the bspwm configuration folder is it has the same path after the dot .file segments. It has the same path as it would have if it were placed exactly in the home directory. And STO basically just symlinks those files and folders and it places them in the same way that you specified. And now let's try it out. Let's go back to the dot .files folder. Now let's remove the readme and screenshot because those are not configuration files. Let's also remove X in the art C and X resources. This is the files I created for this video. We're not, we're not gonna need them anymore. Now, now we have to execute sto asterisk. And that's it. That's literally all you have to do. All these files are already placed into corresponding folders. Let me show you. As you can see, this, this user is like new. So all this stuff, it wasn't there before and now it's there. So now let's log out and log back into the xorg. And boom, there you have it. That's basically, that's your configuration. In my case, it's my configuration, which you might already be familiar with uh, because of the video I posted earlier, the i3wm workflow. In case you haven't seen it, go check it out. So yeah, basically we're done here. All the configuration files are placed in the home folder. Everything looks and works exactly how it should. And yeah, that's it. Basically, it's really simple. I would highly recommend you to install Sto and see for yourself, play with it. Maybe, maybe it's gonna make your life a little bit easier because it certainly has made my life much easier. 
So I hope that what I showed you in this video was useful and inspired you to maybe reorganize and rethink the way you manage your files. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.